problems. But right now, we want to tell you that uh, there is, in this half hour, breaking news on an Amber Alert. It started as an Amber Alert for a missing eight month old boy. That boy has been found, but the man who took him has not. News Channel 5's Josh Booth joins us live from Maple Heights this morning. How's that little boy doing, Josh? You know, police here say he is fine, Macy. Uh, a different story, though, when we talk about the man that took him. I just uh, spoke with police inside dispatchers here in Maple Heights, and they tell me they're still on the lookout uh, for this man that took this eight-month-old boy. They say it's the boy's father, actually. We have a description for you right here. Take a look. His name is Daryl Spencer. Police say he is a 28-year-old black male with black hair and brown eyes. He's 5'6", weighs about 160. Police say it all started last night around 940 when Spencer took his eight-month-old son from a home on Stafford Avenue in Maple Heights, not far from where I am at the police station. Uh, there was a fight at the home. Police say Spencer shoved the eight-month-old's mother and choked a 12-year-old boy at the residence before leaving with the eight-month-old, threatening to leave the state with the baby. Now, police say if you have any information about this man, you're urged to call 911 immediately. Uh, Macy, police say that Spencer actually dropped the boy off with a neighbor. Neighbor, uh, and then took off. He actually, uh, according to these neighbors, police say, uh, told the neighbors that he was going to turn himself in. So he dropped his son off, said he was going to turn himself in, but of course that hasn't happened yet. Josh, what else do we know about the father? Does he have a criminal record or? Yeah, they do say, uh, police say he has a criminal past, including uh, violations in assault and domestic violence. In fact, he told the mother of that eight month old that he was going to set her car on fire last night. Uh, that did not happen, though, uh, but he did make that, uh, make that threat, if you will, before taking off with the boy. Josh, thank you very much for the update live this morning.